Mark from Tempest Paintball and today I'm doing a video review on the Dice C5 elbow pads. These are the gel uh, model, these came out in 2005 as you can tell from the C5 part. Uh, these aren't widely used anymore, you can't buy these really new but you can get these second hand and I would still re recommend buying them because they are good, I'm just going to tell you some good things about them. They've got a lot of padding on the um, elbow bit here so this is good for Superman dives, crawling along the floor, whatever you want to do, good for tournament paintball. Good for woods ball with twigs on your arms. So yeah, good on the padding part. They got the padding throughout the whole of the arm. Um, here they got an elasticy part to stretch over your arms to get a nice tight fit. And all the uh, ventilation or they got on the lower arm. This is also all elasticy, so stretch to get on your arm to ensure a good fit. Yeah, these arm pads uh, fit really well. Make sure you get a size that fits you. Uh, best because when you're sliding you don't want the arm pads to be uh, shooting back you want it to stay nice sturdy into the arm like that it does look good on the arm it bends well well around the elbows and it's got no uh, nothing no material there so it doesn't get caught in your elbow and squeeze up in there so it's nice and comfortable when you've got your arm completely closed going into dives and stuff no good thing about these arm pads is they're really lightweight uh, most dive stuff are lightweight these days as they, that's what they focus on a lot, but yeah, these arm pads are really lightweight, don't feel like there's anything in your arm, and you don't get nice and hot and sweaty in them, so good on there. Some negative, negative sides of this is, well, it's dye. They're always expensive, and even though the second-hand price has dropped a bit on these, you can still have people selling these quite a lot, because they bought them for about £55, or uh, I think they go for about $65 in America, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, sometimes they can get a bit itchy after a long use, but um, with that, with uh, most arm pads really, you can't really help that. And also with the uh, bounces on these, if you're playing against someone with these, it can get annoying shooting their arm, getting a bounce. But yeah, that's just part of the play really. So overall, these are really good arm pads. Uh, if you can see them for sale, buy them. I got these for £15, but I'd pay up to about £20-25 for these as they are really good arm pads. I've had really good use of them. So yeah, yeah if you see them for sale, buy them. They're good price. Okay, now I'm going to hand it over to Ben. He's going to uh, like hit some walls with the um, elbow pads on, see how uh, well padded they are. So, yeah, Ben, take over. Okay, the first thing I've realised with these arm pads is how easy it is to move my arms. It's not sticking up my arms at all, I can imagine you can get some arm pads. Uh, also, the padding on the elbow is really good. I mean, I elbow the hard, the tree as hard as I can, don't feel it at all, which is good for sliding. Okay, Luke, come over. Luke's going to shoot me in the wrist or in the arm area to Hello. see how good all this padding is. See if he can get a bounce. Probably not very likely because we're using tournament grade paint. Yeah, uh, whenever shooting with a um, gun, always wear a mask. Like both of us, we're wearing masks. Even the shooter, always wear a mask. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot his arm. Okay, now obviously I'm going to feel it because he did shoot with a paintball gun, but that took, reduced the pain quite a lot. I mean, I, it didn't hurt me at all. So I'm going to take you back to Luke in the studio, who's going to do a final review. Well, that's fun. Okay, yeah, they performed really well in that. Uh, it didn't hurt him too much. Shot him a few times, and he didn't have any marks on his arm. He's got good padding there. That that'd be good for sliding as well as getting shot. The, um, the paintballs would have usually bounced on there, but we was using really good quality Falcon tournament paintballs, so they just break at anything. So can't really say anything bad about that. Whenever you're washing these arm pads, uh, you can do it on a 40 degree wash or a cold wash. Don't do it too hot, otherwise these will just uh, shrink and you don't want that because it won't fit on your arm. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Tempest TV. Goodbye.